Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode in our XCOM series. The last two episodes were pretty good, because the episodes are shorter now. Uh, I try to stick to one mission, um, because otherwise the episodes are... The moment you start doing two missions, uh, for me, they're going to be like 50 or 60 minutes or longer. And it's a little bit tasking on people to watch a 60 minute episode, or expect people to sit, to sit down for an hour to watch my episode. So that's why we focus on one fight. So far it has been going really well. And uh, we have now the availability of another contact for our resistance uh, region, so we're going to expand on that as well. First I'm going to see if we can get some upgrades done in engineering. We can upgrade Sparko's armor, but it's not really super, super important. Um, Grenade-wise, we're fine. Arc blade is for the ranger. It, it doesn't affect any other troop. It does more damage than it can stun, but it, it's it's not really worth the resources. We'll just skip over that one and wait for the next unit. Oh, next weapon, I should say. Um, research is doing the magnetic weapons, which is going to be done in three days. I keep running across so notes scrawled in English and what looks like broken German. Let's see, we have one, two, three engineers. We could use, really use another one. I'm going to see if there's anything available. A disabled truck, not now. Okay, so we know of two facilities, but we don't have contact in those areas. Okay, let's see if we can recruit anything at the resistance headquarters. Another engineer would really not be a bad thing. Welcome, Commander. How much is it? 185? Yeah, that's fine. So that works. Makes a big difference. Four engineers versus three. So let's see what we can do here. And uh, Let's assign her here. Get that excavated faster. Perfect. Now we do want to get more contact with the other units because we have the facility here. So if we make contact here, how much does it cost? 60 intel. Let's do that. All of our available communications capacity. We can't and that will give us access to this facility that we can then blow up or destroy. Attempting to establish local regional contact. The outcome of this research can only further our... These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Little demonstration. Okay. So that will actually allow us to upgrade our weapons. We need resources and supplies for that, but uh, it's quite a bit. The real gun, the real cannon is really for Spark. Uh, this is something that uh, is very similar like the pistol. It's, uh, it's more powerful. Everything like this is more powerful, but... Uh, magnetic rifle and... There's definitely something that uh, is going to be a massive upgrade for us. We're doing an autopsy on an alien again, and this time we can actually build the mind shield, which is an item that you can use, a utility item that you can use that will help you resist any kind of mind control or mind games. And we can do research into psionics. The mind shield. You have to build it with engineering. It's not something I'm going to use my resources on right now. Gauss weapons. Psionics. Turret breakdown. It's all very interesting, but I'm going to go for the, the weaponry. Great! So at least the research is not for nothing. As soon as the research is Let's make contact. Contacts located. So, oh, it actually does not allow us yet. 
that's a bummer. We it's another region where that it's in, but we're one step closer, I guess. And uh, let's see, Intel. I think we started this some time ago and we never finished it, but uh, there's no rush. Again, I'm not too concerned about all these, you know, pro progress that they're making. We'll uh, we'll count on that soon enough. Nice, 81 supplies, that room is clear. Maximum power consumption reached. Yeah, the power is an issue, but... Um, Maximum power that's a... Build one. Okay, I'm not sure if we can assign two people. No. Because we have four engineers, so three are working right now. Let's assign this one. Plus two contacts, so that will actually, as soon as we're done with the intelligent, um, well, loot, we can actually go back and make contact with the other region. Okay, let's do that right now. Back here. 90 intel. Fine, let's do this. And that would actually give us a nice mission if that's completed, unless we get something else popping up, which wouldn't be too surprising. Commander, we have the position of a vulnerable UFO that's set down in this okay. region. If we move fast, there's a chance we could recover a nice haul of supplies and equipment. Yeah. That sounds really promising. I don't mind interrupting for that. A spark of very likely is still damaged. Let's see what he is at. Now he's completely healed. That's kind of surprising. And uh, let's see. Because I really don't want a, want a ranger, so I'm gonna remove Anna Summer for now. I need a ranger. Snapshot. Uh, she can get a second item. Yeah, There's not too much you can do with this. Uh, right, unless we cl quickly build one. Yeah, she can. We don't have the resources. That's a bummer. Um, there was no upgrade available for her. Okay. So we have a ranger, we have two grenadiers, a specialist and a sharpshooter. I'm going to give it a skulljack though, because it will still one-shot an officer, just in case. It's, a, it's not really a difficult mission, but I'm pretty sure that boss is going to pop up. And I think the boss has like one health point, so that is going to be hilarious. I should really give some playtime to uh, the French robot, Sparky, to level him up a little bit. Guy Ranger, deploy in position for deployment. Let's do this. Resistance forces managed to disable a UFO that's set down in this region. And we've got an opportunity here to grab valuable tech from it before the end. Yeah, there's a lot of resources and supplies you can get from this. resistance in the area and secure the site to retrieve the assets. It's in the wilderness of New India. Again, it's another mission where we can blow stuff up, but we'll deal with it. Pretty sure we'll still manage to blow a lot up. Okay. Menace one five UFO site coordinates locked in. Move to secure the area. Nice, we're concealed. And we have a ranger. There she is. Let's warm her up. Understood. Moving out. Where's the entrance of the ship, actually? Let's find that out. Interesting. 
I guess that's the door. All right. Okay. So we have some hostiles over there. Let's move our ten-foot friend Sparko over here. Ah, just a good spot. if they're gonna move. Moving to designated coordinates. On overwatch. We do need a couple of overwatches. Orders confirmed. On the move. I'm pretty sure they're gonna patrol probably towards us. Or not. Either way, we should be able to deal with them. I'm double checking to see if Snapshot has that ability yet. No. No. I'm looking for the ability that keeps her concealed if the rest of the troop is revealed, and she does not have that yet. So, let's see. Move him here. You should get some vision now. That was not what I had planned. Ooh, that gives him a chance to actually blow up a wall too. That's awesome. Risky, but uh, you try telling him not to do it. I'm actually not sure if that blows up the wall. Well, I'm gonna try it anyways. That's that alien material. That's like. Rock solid. Okay, so she cloned. Um, let's move closer. Absolutely. What kind of percentage do we have? It's really not impressive. Okay. Let's see what Jess can do here. It's also not impressive. 68%. Hmm, this is actually pretty interesting. But then again, she might miss all of them, right? What kind of damage is this? Two or three, yeah, that's not... We're not gonna do that. Shadowfall. Okay. Well, can we do that one? No, it will not allow us to do that one. Uh, if I hit him, I wonder if Sparko's rocket will be enough to kill all three of them. Shadowfall is really nice for Jess. Let's do this. Okay, yeah, that's really not a lot of damage. Okay, where's Sparko? Because that would be really nice if you can do that, but I don't think it reaches that far. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, come on. No. But it will blow up all their covers. So that's good too. That's not bad at all. Okay. We're gonna conceal her. We're gonna move her. Yeah, this is kinda strange. I'm actually gonna overwatch her. Okay. What kind of percentage is that gonna give to Emmy? Sure thing. Nice. Okay. That's one way to solve it. Alright, let's move closer. Already 
We have to make sure that the other units get promoted too, because we have uh, three captains. We just picked up an outbound signal coming from the UFO. It's oh some kind man! Of what can we blow that up? You need to get inside that ship that would be and shut brilliant. down the signal before they send their whole fleet after us. Okay, so is this the door then? Is this the door? Can I blow that up? Oh, he has to bombard. Um, Keep just there. Let's make sure we reload for Emmy. And move her up, I guess. Ready to go. Heading out. Trying to find a good spot for Jazz. Moving to position. I'm on it. Um. I don't know. It seems a little bit of a waste, but. Uh, I just hope it blows up the door. Oh man, it didn't blow up the door? It did, right? Yeah, okay. Okay, uh, that's okay then. No gonna move there. Boss. Probably gonna see something now. Overwatch. 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 So many snakes. Well, good thing we got the uh, four Overwatches or three and four. Not much of a hit. Oh, this is always very interesting. They're on to me. She did 10 damage. That's really nice. Now she has that ability to run out, which we're gonna do. Up, up. It's a real, real handy ability. Okay, so we want to make sure that uh, fan dancing also gets a promotion and uh, looking glass as well. Okay. Surprised she doesn't see him. Can I move here? Will that allow me to see him? On jazz. Affirmative. Covering now. Okay, we have to bring Amy closer. No problem. Overwatch so Amy. Looking glass closer. Oh, I forgot the loot. Ah, crap. Yeah. Ah, that was stupid. Okay, so she's no longer concealed. Sure thing. And give us vision to the other side. Nope. On Overwatch. Seems doable. Yeah, it seems doable, but it's all risky. I guess I didn't click in the corner. Overwatch. Okay. I feel my people. Overwatch. I'm kind of moving them here so they can all have some kind of line of sight with overwatches. On your order. Got it covered. Well, there has to be some alien somewhere. 
Heading out. Pretty sure there's gonna be something in the room. Menace one five, that's the distress beam. Oh, it is? Move in and disable it before the aliens get a bead on the UFO. And how do we disable that? Besides the obvious destruction. Overwatch. 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 Okay, let's move Sparko in. Kind of surprises. I wonder where the aliens are. Overwatch. Something tells me they're gonna show up real fast. Overwatch. Oh, it's a boss. I think we have six, five overwatches. I got nothing. Looks like one of them came back for more. Let's make sure to take it out this time. All overwatches miss. I mean, seriously, what are the odds? That is five missed overwatches. Or is it six? <laughs> I mean, you don't write the script for that one. But it means that we can blow stuff up. Oh. How exciting is this? Throw a grenade. Hitting three enemies with one grenade. I'm not sure if they are immune to poison, by the way. Gonna drag us in. Need a med kit here. Oh, that's okay. Now we want to hit the other one. Yeah, we want to hit him. Papa K. What did you expect? King is down. What was that? Good work, people. She's poisoned, though. On my way. We'll heal her up. Come on, Spark, make yourself useful. Let's use the overdrive. Just in case he misses. Personally, I think the robot has the, the lowest success rate with shooting, to be honest. Especially overwatches. It's even worse than Jazz. No, we're well reloaded. That means there's one left. Ah, oh, she can just shoot him through the wall. Okay. X-ray neutralized. That works. Oh. Reload on Emmy. Looking glass able to go here. I'm on it. Nice. He's actually immune uh, for the poison. I don't know why, to be honest. I was thinking, because there's an armor suit later on in the game that kind of makes you immune, but I'm not really sure why he's immune. Accessing data. That's interesting. Maybe because he uses the grenades himself, or... Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it, but who knows. As long as we get the mission done, right? We're through. Good. We've knocked out the alien distress signal. Looks like the skies are quiet. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. So it's just, uh... Snapshot, I think, that uh, has poison damage. It shouldn't be too, too much. 
she shouldn't be out too long because we need a ranger. Not sure about promotions. So yeah, the successful shot percentage is 100%, but uh, yeah, that doesn't include overwatches. All five of them missed. Or was it six? But it wasn't really too bad of a mission. I hope we got some really nice loot there. An impressive performance, Command. Ah, uh, no promotion. Ah, oh, she's only out for two days, so eh, it's fine. Command, having successfully recovered uh, one two Illyrium core. 152 supplies. Oh, look at that. This is really nice. As soon as possible. It okay. is my hope that by following her yeah, that's own fine, that's fine. Notes, He's so eager to research corpses and stuff. Of just how she managed to accomplish okay, we have four engineers. Changes. Let's make sure that we assign something to him. What can we do? Oh, let's get these suits up. Nice. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. So if you look at the exosuit, it uh, requires one core, a couple of alloys, crystals, troopers. So um, it's a heavy variant of our plated armor. And uh, more importantly, and that's why it's so awesome, we might be able to add a heavy weapon mount directly to the armor, combining significant defensive and offensive capabilities in a single suit. So that is going to be awesome. It's going to be another slot where you can actually attach a, like a rocket launch or a machine gun. It's uh, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so supplies. Okay, okay, that's pretty good. So we keep her busy. We're building this. We're digging out this. We have more resistance comes because of that engineer. Uh, oh, I wonder if we can actually upgrade our weapons. Nice. Okay. Um, the kinetic rifle is nice. The shotgun is nice. It's for the rangers, as it describes, so it uh, does more damage. The kinetic rifle is more generic for the troops. I'm going to take that one. And, um, ah, let's take this. It's just a pistol. I think it's probably for the, for the sharpshooter or something. Okay. So Tell me something, Doctor. It must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? Oh, like people, look at the I dialogue. Believe that the aliens Don't want to miss that one. Legitimately interested in peace, although they left me little choice when it came to working with them. I admit, I was okay. drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. Four days for the suit. It was a mistake. Let's see if there's that. anything easy. I think yeah, we were still. Said, no, we did. We finished the intelligence. Mistake. Uh, we can get a scientist there. Oh, I think we're actually we're gonna try to get that contact down on the bottom there. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm actually gonna leave it here. I don't want to run into a sudden pop-up mission and then have another hour episode. So I'm gonna leave it here for now. I think it was a pretty successful mission. And um, as usual, I thank you for listening to my rambling. And I hope to catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.